Let's do a quick unboxing video of this new power supply from Silverstone called the DA1000R, which is from their newer generation of ATX V3.0 and PCI Gen 5 units. We all know by now the fiasco with the combustible plugs and ports with the 400 series NVIDIA cards, thanks to those high power PCI cables, the 12VH PWR. This unit from Silverstone comes with such a cable and it's one of the highest rating ones at 600 watts. Unfortunately, I don't own any of these new GPU monsters to fully stress this PSU and it's Gen 5 cable, so let's just have a look around it. It takes on paper everything you might need from a modern standard size PSU at just 150mm long, which is only 10mm over the regular ones, from loads of power, all Japanese caps, semi-passive 135mm fan and a 10 years warranty. All of this for around 200 bucks, I presume, whenever it's available in stock and I find out the original MSRP. Cable-wise, all of them are standard and non-sleeved, with the exception of the newer 600W cable. The lengths vary from 550mm to 1050 while the floppy 4-pin adapter is the exception at 100mm. The reason this is 600 watts capable is because of those extra mini pins that let the PSU and motherboard communicate on a finer level. You get besides the basic stuff like the power cord and a 24-pin, two 4 plus 4-pin EPS CPU plugs, up to 6 6.2 regular PCIe plugs and 12 SATA connectors. Even a triple Molex cable is included alongside the Molex to floppy adapter. As for the 1 kW unit itself, it's quite compact. The intake area has this big cutout for the 135mm fluid dynamic bearing. It's rated up to 1500 RPM and even features a semi-passive mode, which is fanless up to 300 watts, which is user activated if needed as well. On the exhaust side, we have the power on off button for the PSU and the switch for the semi fanless mode. On the IO section, the 12VH PWR port is located in the middle and it's very hard to miss because the pin size is way different from the rest. Looking at the amps and rails, this PSU has plenty of juice for a high end build, even around the RTX 490, as per Nvidia's guidelines. I managed to test it quickly in Angelo's build, a longtime friend of the channel, since he has a more powerful GPU than me, the Asus LC RX 6900XT, which is a 300W TDP board. It's easy to tell that this PSU is more than enough for his build, which has a Ryzen 5 5600X, plenty of fans, accessories and water cooling. I presume when the MSRP price is available and the unit is actually in stock, that will make or break the PSU, because at this $200 mark level there is a lot of competition even with these newer generation units, 